in order to proxy the incoming requests we can have layer 4 and layer 7 proxies so wait what is a proxy server stick with me to find out What's up guys, medium guy here and in this video we'll see what is a proxy server and how to create one in Node.js. So stick with me, let's get down to work. So what is a proxy server? As its name is suggesting, it is a server standing between the client and the server and proxies all the requests that is coming from the client to the destination server forwarding all the headers and body and every data that has been sent from the client and getting the response from the destination and again forwarding all the data back to the client so why would we do this and why not client sends all the requests to the destination server directly so suppose you have an authentication server in the middle that you want your client to be authenticated and then if the authentication and authorization is passed you'll just uh, return all the data that the client has been requesting for and every other uses that I suppose you search and get all the information that you need. So we have some tools like Nginx, HAProxy and all the tools like this that already does this for us but in this video we'll see how to create one in Node.js for ourselves with our custom logic implemented in it. So first of all I have a docker compose file that just has an echo server and it pulls the image from the ELN echo server some random image that I found from the docker hub and the important thing is that it just exposes the port 80 so that we can access the server directly so the thing I need to do is say docker compose up so I'll just go and create the container and expose the port 80 and map it to my host so if I just go and hit the local host 3333 3, I'll see that the server echoes whatever request that I make so if I provide a param in the URL like for example param with also a query I'll see that the server echoes exactly whatever request I make so here we'll see that it has echoed the slash param and also the query param that I provided so uh, my echo server inside the docker container works correctly so next thing I need to create an npm package so I'll create another terminal and I'll cd into node proxy server directory and I'll say npm init dash y for accepting all the questions so if i hit ls i'll see that i have a package.json the next thing i'll need to install the http proxy middleware dependency so i'll say npm i http proxy middleware so it will just go ahead and install the dependency for me and next i also need to install the express so i'll say npm i express so it'll install the express dependency for me and now i'm ready for creating my index.js file and start coding so in my directory i'll create a file called index.js and here i'll start by importing my dependencies so i'll say const express require express next i'll say const require http proxy middleware and from that i'll import create proxy middleware so first thing i need to declare an app which is equal to express next i'll say app.use i'll provide my url which is slash 
app and here I'll say create proxy middleware and inside this I'll pass my options so I'll say target is equal to HTTP localhost port 3333 which is my echo server I'll pass another option which is change origin to true and now I am all set up and my proxy server has been created successfully. So I'll say app.listen on port 3000. So I'll save my file and the little thing I need to change in my package.json file is to provide the start script which will be node index.js. So I'll save my package.json file and I'll say npm start we'll just go and start my server and here i can see that a proxy has been created successfully and the app is listening on port 3000 so if i go hit the localhost 3000 slash app here i'll see that i have the response that i exactly get from the echo server so in here i'll see that every specific request every data that i send is echoing correctly so again i'll say param and a equals to b so to see that this is working correctly so here i'll see that my data is being echoed just the thing that happened is that the proxy server also uh, detected the slash app as a URL param. So the thing I can do is that back in my code, I'll say path rewrite is equal to slash app to slash. So if I hit save and restart my server and go back to the Chrome and refresh my page, in here I'll see that the slash app has been removed and uh the proxy server is not detecting it as a param so for example if we want to implement our authentication system like for example the authorization header that we want to validate in our database and give access or return some response with 401 status which is unauthorized we can just simply create a function and pass it as a middleware to our app so i'll say const prefetch is equal to request and next inside which i'll just look for the authorization header inside the request and deciding if it exists or not i'll just lock some text to the console so i'll say if rick.headers.authorization I'll just say console.log authorization exists, else I'll just simply console log authorization does not exist. So I'll just pass my function as a middleware to my app and I'll hit save. And next, I'll just need to say next to run the next middlewares that are passed to my app. So I'll hit save and restart my server. And here, if I refresh my page, I'll see that authorization header does not exist. But for example, if I provide a authorization header to my request, I'll see that my app will detect that I have a authorization header. So I'll create another terminal and using curl, I'll try to access my node proxy server providing the authorization header. So if I hit enter and switch to my terminal, I'll see that the proxy server successfully detected the authorization header and it'll say authorization exists. So I hope you get the idea and you can just simply implement every logic that you need for any API. I hope you learned something new in this video. So please like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, just go ahead and ask me in the comments section down below. So 
Thanks for watching and hope to see you in the next video.